Yo, what's going on guys? So today I'm gonna be doing a full summary of my Genji re rework uh, of what I wanted and I'll show you s uh, some of my stuff in the Genji reworks and all the play of the games that I have actually made by myself. Yes, yeah, so all these are public, you can go watch it on my YouTube channel and I'll be going through like basically the entire summary of what I'm trying to get here of the Genji rework, rework and I'm sorry if I spelled it wrong I didn't know how to spell Genji before but <coughs> yeah so I'm gonna be doing a full walkthrough of this so so my first one basically so it goes from basic to like basic um, <laughs> so first we're gonna start here in this video I, I talk about how for his ultimate you either switch out or add, or you switch out an ability, or you add an ability, um, where you, you either take out the, the dash ability, or the blocking ability, only for his ultimate uses, is that, or, or add it, it's called, like, or you, th you throw your dragon blade, or sword, that's what I call it, and you throw it, <coughs> to a, to a, uh, person, and they kind of get stunned a little bit, kind of like Orisa's, or or get damaged. And then my second one, I need to actually watch because I forgot what it was about. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and the sword does come right back to him. By the way, okay. So what I said here is that um, is that basically. Genji's blocking ability, because he can use it, or, or the deflecting ability, for his sword specifically, like when he has his ultimate, it is a lot faster, uh, and or a lot faster and does more damage, because it's a sword. It's a sword, and swords are kind of meant for that a little bit. So. Yeah, and then here is a demonstration of what it looks like. It's split into kind of two videos because I didn't have enough time to get all that in. So here's what it looks like. Because this is without the blade. Yeah, so th this is with the blade. And you can see how much faster it is. Since, since you can't kind of see so you can't like go back in or like you can't go back in the video of shorts so you guys are gonna have to go back through through this video and see how much faster it is like it looks a lot faster and it can also last long. oh yeah it does last long too Can we see oh yeah and here I said see in one of the trailers I mean by I mean by this short film by the play or by play or watch let me just see so so what was it it was so i'll try to find it in this video but what what i basically said was there's a scene where genji uses his like ultimate which, which is a sword to kind of block away from the uh, dragon that Hanzo kind of shoots out and in the actual game there's it, it, you can do a s little version of that where he kind of shoots the bullet but you can block it and then it or you can block it and it deflects back to him which is kind of like that but I meant when he shoots it and it's actually in the air Genji can like go in and then kind of just like uh and then kind of just like d deflect it. Let me try to find that. That does not mean I do not honor him. Okay, you it's like about here. Okay, watch, like watch this. This is super awesome, and this is what I mean by deflect it because in his animation for Genji, you can actually see a dragon kind of come out of it a little bit. And I wish you can block that in the real game. Let, let, you can block him while he's shooting the arrow, but not when the dragon is just out. Hey, hey, hey! 
It is like here, the thing is all, or the arrow is already shot. Like, it, it is already shot. You can't see the arrow anymore, it's just these two dragons. And the watch what Genji does. This is exactly what I mean. By blocking the dragon, of course. Where it kind of just flies around, not controlling it, but like kind of like blocking it so it doesn't damage your teammates. It is in the actual game when the the two dragons attack him is when Genji deflects the arrow and then it starts attacking Hanzo. So that's what I kind of mean by like deflecting it because he kind of deflects a little bit like he uses his dragon to take away the other dragon so you can like de deflect it with your kind of like a shield to your other teammates so you can do it so what I because I've, I forgot what I said so I need to kind of kind of look back at it and then I say it so it's louder and I can actually put it into a compact video and see these little parts that you guys have to watch. Um, is that so? He kind of uses his own dragon to control all three dragons, which in my case is quote unquote deflecting, which what is what I mean. Like he doesn't use his dragon to control him. Like he pulls out his uh, sword and then say that Hanzo Hanzo's dragon is going towards you. It kind of deflects it and like it kind of like uses up like Hanzo's dragon kind of uses up all of its power and then it just disappears and does no damage to him or his teammates behind him which is what I explained in the video and we're about to see what it was it, it should look like it's right there I said let the dragon consume you which is what Hanzo says and then Genji uses his ultimate, or in, the, or in, or is already using it, he can block it. And he's like shaking a little bit to show how hard it is to deflect that. And it also deflects people. Oh yeah, and it, and here I said it wrong, but you, or it, it, it deflects it so your teammates don't get, uh, don't get hurt by it if you're behind him. It's like a, it'll, it'll make an outline for your teammates to to show, or it'll make an outline for your teammates, kind of like a shield, and they need to kind of stay in that. So yeah. Oh yeah. By the way, this is actually just like me, like doing or thinking of reworks for Genji. Like not like this is not in the real game. By the way, I, right, right here, I I kind of explained it fast. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um. Yeah. There's some. Or you're, you're not gonna be able to hear it because of editing, because I want to explain it. But his regular blocking ability, so his regular blocking ability, where he like deflects bullets and stuff, does not work on this. Like, it it only works if he has his ultimate on it, and his ultimate's gonna get buffed a little bit, buffed and. Uh, nerf. Defense, like offense, defense. Okay, right there, you can see something that is very important that I really want for Genji that I feel like would be cool is an offense and defensive position for a sword. Where so offense is just his, he is just regular. Defense, he doesn't do a lot of damage, wh which I don't explain here, but he doesn't do a lot of damage. He does barely, like, he does, let's say, 25, no, 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 let's say 15 per hit, but with his regular, uh, it does 120, like, for his actual ultimate, which is a lot, because his defense, so every time he is, like, get, getting shot, or, like, another Genji, he can use his defensive tactics, so he can switch to defense, which is going to be another ability, kind of like the defensive matrix with Diva. Um, 
and so the defense has a higher chance, or, or the defense is basically, it's kind of like, uh, or, or the defense is what, what you use if you're very in trouble and you're very low health. You use that not to attack, but to save yourself from dying and let your teammates try to kill that other person. And, and right there, I said it very quickly because I was running out of time in that short. Boom, right, right there, I said the offense would be like the regular Genji, which is w what I said. And I don't explain it here, which I, I already did, is that the, the defense doesn't do a lot of damage. But it does do some damage, and then most likely, or, and, and it does blocking. But can get stunned from Orisa... Or, or Orisa, Reinhardt. I'm also trying to think of other he other heroes. Oh yeah. So the the way that that I explain defense in here is like where where you kind of hold it in an odd direction. It's kind of like oh yeah, right here. It's kind of like a Sokatano where she see right here. She has both of them on defense, but normally she has just one kind of just holding it holding it regularly. And this one is on defense, or, or that that one's kind of like the defensive position for a sword. So that's what I, that's why that move is, um, or, or that's why that move is defense. When Genji, when Genji is in his defensive position, he has different attack and animations, obviously, because he's in defense. But when you use, like, the deflecting or the dash, he goes back to his attack formation. So if you want to stay on defense, don't use any of your abilities. I might be rethinking of dash. You can stay the same, but I don't know. So what I'm about to explain here or say is that when he, whenever he uses ultimate, which is 100% true, which I think he should, is that because he's holding it with two hands, but you could hold a sword with one hand, probably. And then he should be able to throw his stars. Shurikens! Oh my god, I found it out. Okay, shuriken uh, to to deal more damage. So you, so you can like slash shuriken slash or slash 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 shuriken, whatever you want to use or what I... Oh yeah, so that, that's actually a good point by me is that when he is waiting for his, oh, uh, when he is waiting for his sword to come back, he can't really defend himself. It's only melee. Melee doesn't do a lot of damage. So I say that they could use his shurikens to defend himself. The thing I also forgot to mention is that um, he should be able to turn into defense uh, as soon as he blocks. I might, re I might rethink that because... That that wouldn't really be, or, or, that, or that wouldn't really work, and you could hear me clearly there. So, or and if you couldn't, what what I basically said was that whenever he blocks, like with his RB ability or whatever you use for his thing, because I'm a console, um, is his regular blocking abilities that you go into defense immediately. But I I'm actually thinking no. To that yeah so I'm not gonna do that where he turns into defense every time he blocks because that wouldn't really be good there's three which is what we just got okay here is our first play of the game today four play of the games which I already said play of the game. so all the stuff that I said about the rework is everything that is inside this play of the game like each play of the game adds maybe some new stuff to it some for the amount of reworks that i want for, for genji and then interpret into the play of the game which this is not realistic you would not get that much kills but it's just for fun or the reworks i'm kind of serious about it or not serious but i i like doing it but i feel like this would be some good changes for genji Maybe maybe people will dislike it. Maybe whatever. We're, we're gonna do the play game again. I keep interrupting it. I'm not gonna inter interrupt it. Play of the game. Play of the 
game. All right, so so now we're gonna kind of break down the the play of the game. Actually, wait, I'll give you guys a second to to, to think of what was in there. All right. All right, got it. All right. So now we're gonna break this. So now we're gonna break it down and do kind of not smaller parts, but we're gonna break it down and show you what I've added. So this, even the highlight intro is where I, I added something, is that I think he switched from offense to defense, or he was just defense, but defense is the new thing that I want to add, and so I put defense into the highlight intro. So here's the first thing, he was just using his regular ultimate offense, like usual. There, you, you can like barely see it, but he switches into his defense, and he switches back, Th there's a kill. There, that one's very easy to, to do. He th he got hit, or he threw his sword, and then I, I used the shurikens, and then I got another kill. Got got this back, just used like normal. And went went back to the shurikens, and got a double kill. Shut it, little baddie. Genji rework number four. One thing I've also noticed about this is that what what I just said is that like every almost everything now was in ultimate. And then the sh shurikens were, were added in in the ultimate. So what, what, what do you call it? highlight intros? Yeah, yeah. So the highlight intro is basically what what happens at the start. Here, I I'll show you. Team Valhalla. <laughs> Holy frick! Victory. Play. Okay, so so here's the play of the game. The that that that's what it's basically going for. So you see the what whatever. So so you see the um like at the start of the play of the game, and then here's just the play. I want to watch this again. That play was absolutely crazy. Absolutely. Abs. I'm I'm getting sidetracked here. I'm so sorry, but. He clutches this by revi- and also this is old Overwatch, so her ultimate revived everybody around her. So it revived everybody around her, and she went to training mode. Alright, we're, we're just gonna go back. I keep getting sidetracked. There, there, there's my answer. What? There's my question to answer. It was him switching in defense mode. Okay, here, uh, I'll explain it, and then I won't- let, let the video play out because I already know what I'm gonna say. But the the stats of Genji's ultimate is gonna change a little bit for it to be a little more good. So so Genji's damage in the sword, like the regular sword, is gonna be down to 20 damage by one by 100. Or er, so now it is 100. It was 120 before. But now it's 100 that, that I want. And then his... So, so that's nerfing. Because it's less damage. But his thing... I might uh, nerf this too. But... Or like j just a little bit down. Um, like of, of seconds up. But 4 seconds. And it was 6 seconds... No, 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 not 6. Or it was 6 seconds... Or it, it was 6 seconds I looked in Overwatch 2. It was six seconds for him just to use the ultimate, and so I added three, and it was nine seconds. But I might add, or I might take one down and just make it eight or nine. So yeah. Genji's damage is gonna go down by twenty because now it's just one hundred damage, but the time will go up by four seconds, making it a nine-second uh, ultimate. Yeah. So so there I meant messed up was saying because it's six seconds and then I added four which is ten and then r right there we're, we're gonna move on to the next rework five okay right here I'm gonna say or er, right here I'm gonna explain that so as soon as he's throwing it's kind of like the uh, Reinhardt one where if, if a Reinhardt and Reinhardt collide they'll both get s stunned where if Genji and Genji throw their katana and, and they will guarantee both hit each other because they, it kind of targets people a little bit. But they will uh, hit each other, and then they will turn turn around and like kind of go back 
to you, and then you and the other guy will kind of get punctured in the chest. The, the, there's nothing violent about it, but but um, he gets punctured in the chest, and then he takes out the, the sword, and it's uses like a usual. No blood on the sword. Like, there is some minor blood in Overwatch, but it's, it is literally not that bad. Cartoon blood. Cartoon blood there. You two overlord, don't you dare take down this video! Okay. But. But, but yeah. Um. They take it out and then just play like usual. Oh yeah, there's also gonna be nothing violent about it. He's just gonna get damaged by 50 health. <laughs> oh yeah, but by 50 health is a lot. But I'm gonna keep it that way because it's a sword going to your chest. They both collide. Oh. Oh. So here, two Genjis are using their 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 ultimate. If they are fighting and they are synced up, like if, if one in, like if they're both synced up, their swords are gonna collide and then they're gonna be stunned for like a second. And then, if one of them is out of sync, they're just going to be playing, like, like, normal until somebody dies. Or both of them die. But, um, wait, I forgot to say, but all of this is fake. Like, this is, like, Genji is not a real-life character. This is in a video game. So, all the stuff about killing and stuff is not real. This is a video game. <sighs> okay. But, yeah, so if they collide swords, one of the, or both of them is going to get stunned for like a second. But it's not going to do anything to the damage or stuff. And they're like, going to go into a sword fight. Uh, there is a 25% chance. Oh, whoops. I, I messed up. There's a 25% chance that they will get stunned, which is pretty low or pretty high. Chance it dep nice depends, and if it's like if they actually do this, which I don't think they are because they're Blizzard and I'm Hurricane Bacon with only 50 <laughs> subscribers, which would make it to 100 by the way. I really want 100 subscribers, we're at like 51 right now. Make sure to like, subscribe, turn notifications. Uh, yeah, but but there's a 25% chance, and if this is actually in real game, I might want to lower it. If this is happening too often. Oh, there's the end of that re re rework. Is re re rework. Rework six. Oh, there. Swords hit, and so it looks like this. Yeah, and and it keeps on going, or not keeps on going, but if the 25% chance happens twice, then um, then then the 25% chance doesn't increase but it goes twenty five percent chance and twenty five percent chance again and it keeps on going until it stop or until it stops but yeah so twenty five percent chance and then another twenty five percent chance but if we don't get it then it's gonna keep off. Now I think it's time for us to put the sword away. Oh my god, I I messed up all my words there. So the damage of the, of the shuriken, because it's spinning, I think it should do, not triple the damage, but, but like the normal damage of the shuriken, it's going to be kind of amplified a, a little bit, or amplify, meaning more, meaning more damage, because it's spinning in the air, and, and then uh, kind of all three parts are hitting, which I think I misinterpreted a little bit, but, yeah, and... Another thing, I don't know if it's in this rework, but uh, when he throws the shuriken, it does its, or it can go through multiple people because he throws three shurikens, so it goes through one person, and then it, and then the damage keeps on getting lower upon hitting in between people. So like, it hits through one person, and, and it kind of goes less damage each time. So okay, now this is the final rework. I think, I think, but this is not final, that's why I said maybe, because, 
because I could make more more re reworks on this, but I don't think I can. But I think the funnest thing about this is making the play games. So make sure to like and subscribe. Or make sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified every single time I make a new video. Especially there's going to be more play the game stuff. So secondary fire, every every time he shoots it, um, the shurikens kind of spread around. And there's going to be no like going through the body because one shuriken can't really do that. But this is whatever. So they're gonna be spreading out, and, and and it does more damage. It does more damage. It's kind of like a spread shot. It's gonna do more damage because it. I I think it's kind of weak. What because it's basically the same thing as the regular Shuruk and just getting spread out, but it's less damage. Regular Genji shot, more more damage. Now we're gonna get into our second play of the game. I'm going to be doing some more play of the games for more highlight intros that you can see. Alright. Yep, so here I think is... Play. Nope, no, why, why did it happen? So... Oh yeah, so this is our second play of the game. We have one, two, three. We have three in just, in just these ones. So I made these all in order so like be with my hello neighbor one which i deleted all of them uh, I, I forgot why but these ones are actually in order this time so play the game two and then three four play of the game so here's the new highlight intro man that was clean holy look r right here you can see me Th this isn't cut or like at least me dropping the katana isn't cut because be like what was kind of like is the mercy battle angel highlight intro where she goes from like powering up somebody and then she switches to a pistol so it's kind of like this where he kind of like whereas katana disappears and he turns into the there's just the shuru so there's a kill there's a double kill so there's a kill Kill. And then there's the quintuple and sextuple kill, which is the max you can get in two major count. So I got a lot. I'm gonna. Tr so yeah, I'm gonna. So I'm gonna try to break. Or I'm gonna break this one down too. So right, right here, I kind of turned it just regular shuriken, which is what I wanted for him, basically kind of throwing it. Right here, he just slashes. There, there's the throwing again, and then there's him throwing or er, er, me throwing the shuriken around. And then here, right here, where I get the sex double kill, is kind of crazy because what happens is that the uh, or you just can't see because there's no real people around. Is that all of these is that where the shuriken goes multiple people and kills them or eliminates them and then he gets more kills and then he gets like nine kills there and and then here's play the game three but we're gonna take a little pause let's do this So let's try to analyze this. So, so here, that that's the spread shot. Let's just slow down a little bit. So right here, you notice that I don't start with my sword. Is that because I just want to do something a little bit different for that play of the game? Is that so? I don't start, so I got the double kill. Switched to the thing. Bam through the. Um, on our sword and then just started do, doing that triple kill. Got them. The most satisfying part about this is the quintuple kill you can barely see. I just get all these kills and then 
the final play, play of the game. Let's do this. Of the game. So right here you can definitely see some stuff. This highlight intro is something that I wanted to make up because it seems Play fun. Of the game. Where I punch the camera, falls down, punch it again. There I, I use the blocking ability. And it might have actually been a good idea for this play of the game. Because now I think I can I need to keep it. Is that so I block and I turn it immediately kick to the defense offense immediately. Threw my sword, got stabbed with it, which is something that that we went over. J just a reminder is that w when you throw a sword at two Genjis, or when you throw a sword at another Genji, and, and you're a Genji, it bounces back, hits you, stabs you, took it out, got got all these kills, and. I don't know if that that's it for it. I think that is. Um, but so so I'm gonna try to make a kind of a quick summary of this. Is that this is my Genji rework of my demonstrations of what I want for Genji. It's, it's mostly of his ultimate. I want him to throw his sword. I want him to. Or I want a sword to be able to deflect faster and uh, takes longer to deflect or takes longer of the animations and stuff. No, no, no I'm trying to, what, what am I trying to say? His animations of blocking is faster, but, but his blocking ability is longer. And then he's, he's going to be able to block Hanzo's dragon ability, um, as you see in that one video, the the dragons video, Genji versus Hanzo, and then to shoot the Shurukens as you have your sword, um, be able to. Oh no, I already said that. Uh, throw swords at each other and hit each other hit each other throw a sword which I probably already said and yeah and you can go check out all of these videos uh not in the description but you can check out all these videos on my channel make sure to like subscribe turn on notifications and see you guys in the next video